If you've ever used Git, then you probably already ask yourself, should you merge or rebase? While both merging and rebasing achieve the same goal of introducing changes of one branch into the other one, there are major differences to keep in mind. So in this video, I'll show you what merging and rebasing are, what are the consequences of using each, and when to consider one option over the other one. Imagine you're working on a Git repository with other developers and you want to create a new feature. So what you do is create a branch based on the main one. Now you check that branch out locally and start working commit after commit after commit. You're now satisfied with what you built and you're ready to merge it back to the main branch. But wait, there's a problem. See, while you were writing your code, another developer merged his own branch into main, which means that now your branch is outdated. So now you have two possibilities. You can either merge main back into your feature branch or you can rebase your feature branch. By merging the main branch into your feature branch, you basically create a commit containing all the changes from the main branch. And this has two advantages. First, you can rely on the Git history to see where you started working and when you updated your branch. Also, if there are some conflicts between the two branches, you can easily fix them. A conflict is when both branches have made changes to the same files. So Git does not know which one to take. But merging also comes with a major drawback. Namely, it complicates the Git history. So instead of having two or three lanes, you end up with possibly a lot of them. It, this is especially relevant if you're working in a big team or working on multiple branches in parallel. This makes it hard to follow through with the Git history and can make reverting changes a bit difficult. But thankfully, there is another way. If you look at the Git graph, then you may have guessed how rebasing could fix our problem. Instead of creating a new commit, you can simply put the existing commits on the new tip of the main branch. The main advantage of this approach is that you end up with a clean Git history. But rebasing also has two problems. First is that you have to override the remote branch when pushing it to remote. This makes working with other developers on a common branch difficult, since you can easily override their changes. Another drawback of rebasing is having to deal with conflicts. So if there are some conflicts between your branch and the one that you're rebasing into, you may have to deal with these conflicts on multiple commits. This can be a daunting task, since the changes you make in one commit can lead to other conflicts in the next commits. So should you merge or rebase? Well, it depends. While some developers have strong opinions, I came up with a few rules of thumb that will make your life as a developer a bit easier. First, if you're the only one working on a feature branch, then just go ahead and rebase. On the other hand, if you want to combine multiple feature branches into a special release branch, then merging is a great alternative. This will make it explicit which features are included in your release, and you can easily add new features or revert existing ones. Now, in case you're having conflicts between the branches, you should also consider merging, because fixing conflicts during a rebase is something I wouldn't wish for my worst enemy. <laughs> the drawback of having a dirtier Git history is worth it in this case. But if you're a big fan of rebasing because you want to have a straightforward history, then having small atomic commits will definitely help you when dealing with conflicts. But again, personally, I don't think it's really worth it. And finally, you should never rebase your principal branches, like main and develop branches. And the reason for that is that these branches should always be reliable, since they serve as the base for other branches. If you found this video helpful, you will probably enjoy watching this one as well.